Hey fam, Alexa Rains here with another reaction. So today we're gonna to continue with our Golden Girl series, this time with season five, episode six, titled Dancing in the Dark. As always, if you're looking for the full length reaction to this episode or any of my other content, you can find that on Patreon and the link will be in the description below. And if you cannot support us on Patreon, that's completely fine. You can support us directly here on YouTube by liking this video, commenting, and subscribing. So without further ado, let's get into our episode. I was gonna say, you can't put it like that. <laughs> no, it does not look cute That's at all. What are you doing lining shelves on a Friday night? I'm working off all my excess sexual energy. Oh. Should I have Why a date? I just hook you up to the toaster and make pop tarts. <laughs> Don't make fun, Dorothy. This is the fifth Friday night in a row I haven't had a day. Oh. You're just in a little slump. Is that what this is? I've never been in one before. Well, it feels like hell. Dorothy, how do you go through this for years at a stretch? Uh-uh. Blanche, you're being ridiculous. Yes. You are as attractive and desirable as you always were. But a lot of men can be frightened by that. They don't know if they can handle that much more. That's true. So every once in a while, this will happen. Now, Blanche, it takes a strong, confident, sophisticated man to appreciate you. But, honey, they're out there wanting you as much as you want them. I agree. I knew it had to be something like that. Thank you, Dorothy. <laughs> well, hello there. Oh, I didn't know you had company. Dorothy Blanche, I'd like you to meet Miles Weber. How do you do, Miles? How nice to meet you. Dorothy, thank you. A real delight. Oh, her sexual urges. Miles is my dancing partner at the ballroom. Oh, Ooh. Yes, and tonight we were the king and queen of the rumba. A rumba. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> That is the wrong one, but that's fine. I even made a few bucks. Oh, ha, wait, it's in the ballroom? How did you do that, Sophia? The place was packed with old geezers ripe for the picking. I charged them 10 cents a dance. Okay. Oh, you didn't. Please, I worked hard for that money. Half the time they'd fall asleep in the middle of a song. <laughs> Listen, Rose, I'm having a little get together over at my place tomorrow night. Someone I work with is retiring. And I was hoping you'd come. Oh, well, I'd love it. Around eight, then? Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Well, good night, ladies. Nice to meet you. Good night, Miles. <laughs> good night, Rose. Yeah. Oh, as they say in St. Olaf, Helder Bargain Barak is nothing. What the hell does that mean? Oh, maybe I'm crazy to be so attracted by someone I hardly know, but I can't help it. Oh, I've been dying for him to ask me out. But we never really talk, we just dance. Well, what's that? All that proves is he has rhythm. Yes. You should take a dance class too. <laughs> I see what you mean. <laughs> you know, you can learn a lot about a man just by the way he holds you in his arms. Whether he's kind, sensitive, caring. He dipped you, didn't he? <laughs> All evening. Ooh. Oh, Lord. So long since I've been dipped. <laughs> You're a college professor? Well, what did you think I meant when I said I taught Hemingway? I thought you were old. <laughs> Just so cute. I want you to meet some people, Rose. Gail, Lillian. It's my friend Rose. How do you do? Hello. Miles, we were just hypothesizing. If you were to invite any two people, living or dead, to dinner, who would they be? Well, Lillian picked Winston Churchill and Browning without his wife. <laughs> oh, yeah, they're two different calibers of people. <laughs> Rose, whom would you pick? Well, I'd feel guilty if I didn't invite my two best friends, Dorothy and Blanche. But would it be okay if Jesus stopped by for dessert? She's so wholesome. <laughs> she is Didn't so I wholesome. Didn't was something special? <laughs> Rose, why don't I get you something to drink? What would you like? Ginger ale, if you have it. All right. Ooh. I, I was just having a conversation with, with two people over there. 
speculating on if you could have any two people in the world, living or dead, to your house for dinner, what would you eat? That was not the question. It's who would you invite? Oh, no. I don't want her to feel dumb. Blanche, I didn't know you went out. Are you coming back from a date? You know, Dorothy, sometimes you can be so cruel. <laughs> Honey, if you didn't have a date, how come you're so dressed She was up? trying to find well, one. I sat down and tried to think of a surefire place to meet men. It was so obvious, I couldn't believe I hadn't thought of it before. The hardware store. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hardware stores are alive with sexual energy. How? Tools, plugs, sockets, nude furniture, dirty stuff like that. <laughs> Why are you home so early? Well, I saw a very attractive man in power tools. I piqued his interest with the usual hardware questions. Where does this go? What does this do? Oh. Where is it? Where is he now? Tied to the roof rack of your car? <laughs> No, there was something about him that turned me off. I think it was the way he cleaned his ears with his keys. Oh. Uh -uh. Miles' friends are all college professors. I don't get it. I mean, when we're on the dance floor, it feels like we're made for each other. But tonight, with all these brilliant friends at the party, I, I felt like a fish out of water. Oh, sure, I didn't flop around on the floor with my eyes bulging out, gasping for air. <laughs> I haven't almost... had a party in years. Uh, well. You should have a home field advantage. Why don't you invite him over here? Yeah. That's right. We can create the illusion that you're interested. Girl. It's a hell of an illusion. Maybe we should just saw her in half. Y'all are so mean. <laughs> You girls were right about getting Miles on my turf. Oh, Blanche, and I'm really grateful for your steering the table talk to things I know about. Well, you ought to be. It wasn't that easy working natural fertilizer into the dinner conversation. <laughs> what are you planning next? I don't know. Do you think it's too soon to put on the bloopers tape? <laughs> Just a tad. <laughs> <laughs> they get along very well because they understand each other if you're not busy Saturday on an intellectual level university is playing Shostakovich. oh i'd love to go and i'll bet we beat him is that a game Shostakovich? rose honey it's, oh, it's not a composer a it's a composer oh i better get the dessert Oh, she sure left in a hurry. Hey, who told her to feed me cabbage? <laughs> <laughs> Hand is What's given. Wrong, Rose? She feels stupid. It's not a team, Rose. It's a composer. Couldn't you pretend it was a team and make him look stupid? <laughs> Honey, I'm sorry. I'm not going back out there. He'll never miss me. Well, of course he'll miss you, Rose. You're the one he came to see. But he can talk to you. I've never felt like this before. I was one of the smartest people in St. Olaf. <laughs> Let's not make a joke. I think we could have a relationship. Please apologize to him for me. I do it, but it would just sound stupid. <sighs> I love her. I wish I could give her a hug to make her feel better. Even feel comfortable telling him St. Olaf's story. Don't. <laughs> Don't tell him any. Know exactly what he said to make you feel that. Way. Oh no! <laughs> Look, I'm not going out with him. You go, Blanche. What? Well, you oh, like what does she have a band aid on her so knee? Well, I could. Of course she couldn't. You stay out of this, daughter. <laughs> Why not? It's all over between us. He'll know that tonight. It's impossible. I'd, I'd feel like a, I feel like a, a, a backstabbing slut. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. No. <laughs> Only as a personal favor to you, honey. 
Well, I guess I better go get dressed. Thank you, Blanche. Can you believe that backstabbing slut? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Well, you asked for it. Shoot. Come on, Rose. Why aren't you ready? I'm not going. How come? Well, Miles might be there, and I don't know. Oh, now, Rose, don't say you're going to feel stupid. You are not stupid. You just... <laughs> March to a different drummer? Yeah, the little wind-up monkey banging on the snare drum. <laughs> I was agreeing. <laughs> Blanche, how was the concert? It is amazing how music that loud can be so boring. And Miles? Oh, even more boring than the music. All he did all night was talk about you. How sweet Rose is. How attractive Rose is. How much fun Rose is. And he loved, he, well not love, ball. he likes you. Damn. He also <laughs> said he's going to the ballroom tonight and he hopes you'll be there. Oh, I couldn't. You I need to go. To, can't. Go. Not? Well, what if Miles and I are dancing and I say something idiotic? Then you do. In his ear. Nothing sounds idiotic if it's wet enough. Oh, shit. Blanche, you coming with us? Oh, you're kidding, of course. Oh, you'll love it. Oh, <laughs> nothing personal, honey, but those places are meant for desperate, hopeless people. Girl. You can't find someone any other way. You're oh, going. You you're going. You have to. What else are you going to do? I'm going to be tied to a tree covered in honey and have a family of grizzlies lick it off. What else are you going to do? Go. Why do I torture myself like this? Girls, wait for me. Oh, this, this place is fantastic. I feel like I did when I was 20. You mean I'm married and pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> Blanche, look around. Isn't this wonderful? Aren't you suddenly the life of the party? This place gives me the creeps. Why? Oh, Blanche, see how much fun everybody's having? Yeah, right now. But wait till they hear Glenn Miller's dead. He's not dead. He's missing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, may I have this dance, Sophia? Yeah, 10 I've cents. Got the time if you got the dime. <laughs> I'm all yours. I don't see Miles here anywhere. Maybe he didn't come tonight. He almost didn't. <laughs> Aww. You left my party as soon as you arrived. You invite me to dinner, you disappear into the house, you send Blanche to the concert. I was beginning to take it personally. <laughs> Shall we? Go on, Rose. I am going to keep one arm around your waist to make sure you don't disappear again. <laughs> I was happy to see you here tonight, Rose. I was starting to wonder how you felt about me. Rose, is there something wrong? You've hardly said a word. Uh, I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> Would you care to dance? Oh, I, I don't think so. Oh. I'm usually not this forward, but Glenn Miller has such an effect on me. You don't like Glenn Miller, do you? Oh, are you kidding? I was in the search party. Oh. And that's when Knut said you can't go home again. She said a whole... Oh, that's very, uh, Stupid. Uh, oh, Rose. no. Rose. What? Is something wrong? I don't know what you see in me, Miles. I see you. But why me? I thought you'd like Blanche. Well, I like Blanche very much. And so does Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. I feel so dumb around you. Oh, never say that, Rose. Your stories are very refreshing, Rose. Look, it's like driving in the country and getting lost. You may not know where you are, but <laughs> you always have a good time finding your way out. Oh, Kind of. That was a compliment. It was, it was. <laughs> Come on. I like you very much, Rose. You know, you're... You're very special. I'm just lucky to be smart enough to see it. You know, life's a ballroom, Rose. If you'll pardon the metaphor. 
If you hear something you like, don't analyze it. Just, just dance to it. You understand? I think so. Except what a metaphor is. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. Who needs metaphors? Come on, let's dance. All of our girls are happy. All right, fam, we just finished watching The Golden Girls, season five, episode six, titled Dancing in the Dark. That was such a good episode. Um, we got to see our girls, so Rose and Sophia, who started ballroom dancing. And um, so, so Rose met somebody named Miles, uh, who's her dance partner, and they mesh very well when it comes to dancing. So she's kind of waiting for him to just like um, ask her out and for them to maybe start a little song song. And uh, when he does ask her out, unfortunately, well, he's a teacher, he's a professor, and he is in a different caliber of intellect than she is. Um, so she feels a little bit dumb around him. And I can understand that. And I mean, we always make fun of Rose because, well, we make fun of her in a, in a, like a loving way because she's a little bit, um, she's not dumb or stupid. She's just a little bit different than others. So her intellect lies in other things um, compared to the, the conventional academia. And uh, it's it was very apparent when it came to Miles because he's so smart and his friends were asking some philosophical questions um, that unfortunately just goes way past um, Rose's head. So I was a little nervous for her throughout the episode because I don't like the fact that she felt stupid. Um, Rose is just so lovely. So she has a beautiful heart. She's so kind. She's so smart when it comes to animals and when it comes to like farming. So she is very, very intelligent. It's just that her intelligence lies elsewhere. And in this episode, I was very happy that Miles made her feel special and understood where she was coming from because it is the truth that they have different strengths when it comes to intelligence um but it doesn't mean that they're not fit for each other it just means that they have to find something else that kind of brings them together which they have through dancing and he enjoys her stories even though she feels dumb saying them but as an intellect i would assume that sometimes you just want to be able to have a conversation that does not require as much brain power that it just you know you just listen to the person you laugh when you need to laugh and just enjoy that person's company it doesn't have to be that deep all the time and she got to see that and then they had that beautiful moment at the end where they were dancing and he was just letting her know that life is like a ballroom you just if you enjoy the music just enjoy it and dance and just let's stop analyzing and I really like him for her. I hope he comes back. I really enjoyed him. And then on the B side, we had um, Blanche having a little bit of, I don't know if I've been calling Rose Blanche this whole time, but if I did, I meant Rose. <laughs> so, but what I like about Blanche in this episode is that she had some time off for men, like to just kind of realize that not every, you're not going to get a man every week. That's And that's okay. You could just, you know, be with your girls, enjoy. And it doesn't necessarily mean that you've lost your touch. It just means that you're in a slump right now. And that's okay. And uh, at the end, she got to be able to, you know, wet her dry spell. <laughs> so she's no longer having a dry spell. And she found somebody that she could dance with. And that, you know, they seem to have a little bit of chemistry because they were talking and stuff and she was laughing and smiling. So obviously it's going well. And then even Dorothy was able to find herself uh, a little a little thang thang to dance with. Um, because we know that Dor when it comes to Dorothy, she rarely goes out. She just stays home and reads her books and uh, is very much a homebody. So being able to see her dance and let her hair down and be in a beautiful gown, uh, she seemed very happy. And Sophia, of course, got her dance for a dime and is still making money and, you know, just enjoying herself, enjoying life. So overall, it was a great episode. I really enjoyed it. And when it comes to my MVP, 
no surprise once again it goes to rosie rose because again as much as she felt like she was dumb and she tried to push miles away at the end she was able to kind of let that go go and enjoy her time with miles however long it's going to be um she's able to enjoy it and just you know take from the experience regardless of if it turns out into a full-fledged relationship or just you know dance partners um so yeah so she gets my mvp this episode so when it comes to you guys who would have, who would you have chosen as your mvp and also another question for you guys do you do any like recreational um things like dancing or like a sport when it comes to me i'm about to start swimming lessons because i can't swim and i need to learn how to swim so and also i think it's going to be good for my back since it's a low impact sport so what about you guys are you guys doing anything this summer or this spring um i can't wait to read it so yeah thanks for joining me and i'll see you guys in the next one Mwah! bye for now